politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. 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 On The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fula. Ababa diba gama antifomunu nuzigutu wali tachagula nyiru bat senta mwa kuma wano mbuganda kati wobi kubanga neri bamwe tanida. A very good morning. Uh, thank you so much for keeping it the buzz UG. Of course, as usual, my name is uh, Melaz Milo aka Fula. And I'm coming to you with uh, the latest updates in uh, the country. Uh, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Uh, this is a reminder, just in case you have a business and uh, you would like, uh, you know, to put it to the public. Of course, this platform is available for you. Uh, don't hesitate to get in touch with me right here on the Buzz UG. Uh, the WhatsApp number is right on this platform, the Buzz UG. You can check it out, uh, get in touch with me. And uh, let me put your business out to the public so that you can get some good money from uh, the followers right on this platform, the Buzz UG. Now, there's a government spy who has been shot at the home of uh, a former commissioner of uh, Uganda Human Rights Commission. Yes, uh, this guy has been identified as Andrew Chiza. Uh, good enough, he did not die, uh, but uh, he's actually from uh, the internal security organization and uh, reports have indicated that he's currently admitted at a top medical facility right here in Kampala. Well, according to police and uh, the relatives of uh, the victim, he's actually in a very critical condition and uh, he needs more prayers. But uh, the accused is currently in uh, police custody at Kajasi police station. Now, police says uh, investigations into this matter have already commenced and uh, they'll be giving us more details at the right time. Well, we wish him a very quick recovery. Now, in other news... Uh, the Kampala Metropolitan Police Spokesperson, uh, that is uh, Patrick Onyango, has revealed that they have impounded over 400 NUP t-shirts branded Kunga. Now, Onyango says Bobby Wine's camp NUP is uh, planning demonstrations across the country. And uh, the purpose of uh, these demonstrations is to force government reduce the prices on the essential commodities and they want everybody to participate in these demonstrations regardless of their political or religious affiliations. Now, relatedly, uh, NUP spokesperson, that is a horrible Joel Senyonyi, has said they won't give up on mobilizing Ugandans around the country, even though they are being mistreated by the security forces. Uh, this is after Chairman Nyanzi, Bobby Wine's big brother, was recently manhandled by police and military in Chenjojo district. <laughs> There is no law that says police should give permission. Enanga, Onyango, and all these people who speak for police, speaking what they don't know, what they don't know. I, 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 I don't even know what they studied, but I'm sure there are some lawyers within police. Let them allow to be guided. Don't speak out of ignorance. It should be remembered that uh, this week, uh, Mr. Fred Enanga, the uh, Uganda police spokesperson, said NUP must first get permission from uh, police to carry on their meetings around the country. <laughs> However, NUP Secretary General, that is uh, Devi Luis Rubongoya, says that is not going to happen. We are considering legal action against that gentleman Mujizi and the people he commanded, but also against the regime, and to remind them that we have not stopped 
pursuing even international mechanisms. So it's not only the domestic ones in the courts here, we are still pursuing international justice so that these people are brought to, to account for their crimes against humanity.